Um, this this album is. I feel like this is the one I've been trying to make for a long time, um, and I feel like I finally did it, and I did it well. Like I really like I'm I'm very excited about this project because I feel like it really captures a lot. It's nine tracks, but it's like a very deep nine, and. I'm, I'm super excited for it. There's a lot of life in there. It's real life music is the best way I could describe it. One of the biggest changes with this project than anything I've done before is I didn't engineer this one, or I didn't mix it. Like I still record all my stuff myself. Like that's where I record best, like in my studio. I've got a nice little studio in my apartment and I, I do my best work there, usually by myself. Like I'll be writing and I do all my recording there, but this project got mixed, mastered, all of that by Chris Forte, who works down at the MSQ shop. Um, so if you listen to this album, you're like, wow, like it's good, but it also sounds really good. That's Chris. And he really, he, he took, you know, I brought him the whole album kind of as a demo, and he just helped me take it to the next level, which I think it was one of the main things that sets this apart. So working, I started working at the MSQ shop in 2022 and working there has, it's like just gotten me so many opportunities to be around people who have done this for like a really long time, seeing how they operate. So the two specifically I would say is, uh, I shot a documentary which we're still editing on Kane, uh, seeing kind of his process, like not that I'm taking, you know, biting any of that, but like, seeing how seriously they take that, how they take their promo. Um, and then also Nicholas F. I took a trip to New York with him and Illa and we did, uh, I, I just, I went as the cameraman. Um, and I was, I'm not even that, I'm not even really a photographer or videographer, but I do that through school. And I got the offer, so I was like, hell yeah. And they didn't even have to finish a sentence. They're like, you want to go to New York? I was like, yes. Um, but. I, seeing how he was kind of like pushing the album, promoting the album, getting it to different like press sources, all of that, that was, I didn't, I didn't know how to do that. Like I've made the music and then as soon as like I'm at like reference track level, I'll throw like a mix on it and then I just put it out. And um, I, it, I learned to take time with it and really take it all the way. So the album artwork is a picture of me and my dad. And I lost my dad in January, really unexpectedly. And um, the album, there is a song about him on there, Gone Too Soon. Uh, the album itself isn't about him. Uh, in fact, the al I thought the album was done before that happened. And then that happened and um, I had to, I had to let one more off. Cause I was like, you know, it took, it took him, it took about a month before I was ready to make a song about it. Um, and it's more of like a memory song. Like I'm not, you know, I'll let y'all listen to it and you know, see how you feel about it. But I, I chose to do that because I don't, I, I feel like his hand has guided mine a little bit in this process. And you know, it's like, this album's like dedicated to him. So, uh, you know, he's, one of the main reasons I do this like all of my old recording equipment like all came from him like because he was in bands like I've been around music my whole life because he was a drummer in like so many different bands like I've always been around this music stuff like mostly because of him so yeah it, and it just it felt right I saw the picture because I had found it's from this like a photo booth reel you know when yeah and this guy like five pictures I think it was at like Chuck E. Cheese or something and I saw it and I was like, yeah, that's, uh, that's the one. It's definitely like a car ride project to me. Um, that's, I feel like, I, and maybe it's a byproduct of me like listening to the album so much in the car, but that's, that's what it feels like to me. And granted, it's not, it's 22 minutes. It's not a super long album, but that's how it feels to me. It's, it's, it's a, car ride listen like a like a late night by yourself car ride listen maybe you're going to taco bell i don't know wherever you're going bro if you're really you got to get in the car and clear your mind a bit that's that's what it is
We're doing a listening session for the album, and it's like 85% confirmed I'm performing with the band. Uh, and it's, it's very special to me because it's a lot of my dad's old bandmates. They reached out because I had just, you know, they've been around, so I hit them up. I was like, yo, like, I've got this album coming. They're like, send it to me when you're done. I sent it. And I was like, I've got a listening session. And they were like, we want to perform it with you. So they're going to pop out and we're going to get this, we're really going to do this. So I'm excited. It'll be my first real time performing with the band. Uh, and I'm I'm very excited for it.